Let's talk about making a shot more interesting with uh, faked camera movement. So you can see here we have a very static shot of just a, a locked off shot with not much going on, just a couple of people going past every so often. So let's go ahead and drag it into our timeline. We can see we don't actually need the audio, we can ungroup it and delete that. And once we have this here, we want to go ahead and grab a section that we find interested in. Something like this guy walking across here. Okay, so we're going to cut it down here and actually we'll cut it here. Here to grab the guy. My playback isn't very fluid, I apologize. And let's cut it here as well. So what we want to do essentially is grab this part of the clip and make this more interesting with dynamic camera movement. So what we're going to do is, as you can see here, we have the basic background. We can go ahead and crop this down a little bit more, bring it in here, and now we can play it. And we have our guy walking across. So we want to follow him closer to his face. So let's go ahead and insert an effect, set it to be the transform. And now you can see we have the tab down here. We can actually go into effects and it will bring our tab up here. So let's go ahead to the beginning about here when his head starts to appear, add a keyframe with this little plus icon. Actually nowadays you can actually see we have these uh, little key icons on screen right now. So if you wanna full screen this and do it on a second monitor, it's much more practical now to keyframe with these things. So let's go ahead and add in a keyframe and now we can move forwards a little bit and what we're going to do is just add another keyframe and we're going to scale in a little bit and we're going to try and center his face a bit more. And so now you can see that we zoom in and what we can do now is we can just follow him every so often in the frame. So what we can do over here in the camera overlays is click, 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 click here. The law of thirds, I believe this is. And what we can do now is try and get his head in the corner. So what we can do is we can move this along until his face reaches here. So this is good, that is on that marker. So now we can just move forwards through our timeline and try and just match that up by moving it across as close as we can get without obviously going past on the corner here. Move it up a little bit and we can go a bit more do it again we're just going to scale it in a bit more and this time we're not going to put it in the middle we're going to put it as far as we can and move up a little bit more as well and then to the end we're just going to add new keyframes so that we're still in motion zoom in a little bit more and move it as far as we can about here. And now you can see you have a much more dynamic motion of our guy being followed. You can see right here. We're zooming in and then we're following his head and we're leaving the frame. So yeah, that is a great way to add movement. Next video I'm going to talk about camera tracking, which is a much more interesting thing to overlay objects on top of uh, a specific object. So you don't have to manually move forwards and change the position right here. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.